गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड सायराम टू ऑल हाउ वी यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन हाउ वॉज योर प्रोडक्ट थ्रू एग्जाम्स आई होप यू ऑल हैव डन वेरी गुड इन एग्जाम्स नाउ इट्स टाइम टू कम बैक टू योर डेली रूटीन दैट मीन्स योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर फोर वट इज अवर चैप्टर नेम द चैप्टर नेम इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आइटम वट इज अवर चैप्टर नेम अवर चैप्टर नेम इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन आइटम इज इज क्लियर दिस इज अवर लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री लेट इज स्टार्ट सो what are the topics which we are going to cover in this chapter number 1 charged particles in matter number 1 charged particles in matter second structure of atom structure of atom third nucleus of atom third nucleus of atom fourth electrons fourth electrons fifth Thomson model of an atom. Fifth is Thomson's model of an atom. Sixth is Rutherford model of an atom. Fifth is Rutherford model of an atom. Seventh is drawback of Rutherford's model of an atom. Sixth, seventh is drawback of Rutherford's model of an atom. Eighth is Bohr's model of an atom. Eighth is Bohr's model of an atom, and ninth is neutron. Tenth is distribution of electron in different cells. Eleventh, atomic structure. Twelve, valency. Thirteen, atomic number and mass number. Fifteen. isotopes and 16 is iso pars so these are the topics which we are going to cover in this chapter clear so let us start with the history of an atom let us start with the history of an atom so democritus 460 bc developed idea of atom He pounded up material in his pestle and mortar, and reduced them to smaller and smaller part, which he called atma. Is this clear? Which he called atma. So this is the history of an atom. After that, what is an atom? Basically, atom is a tiny building block of matter. Basically. your atom is a tiny basic building block of matter all the materials all the materials on earth are composed of various combination of atoms all the material on earth are composed of various combination of atoms an atom consists of a cloud of electron surrounding a small dense nucleus of protons and neutrons is this clear basically atom consists of what electron proton and neutron we have already studied clear so electron consists a cloud of electron which surrounded around a nucleus and in nucleus what is present what are the present protons and neutrons i told you that electrons revolve around the nucleus and in the nucleus protons and neutrons are there clear so atoms are the smallest particle of a chemical element that still exhibit all the chemical property of that element is this clear i am reading this slide once more listen carefully atom is a tiny basic building block of a matter all the materials on earth are composed of various combination of atoms an atom 
consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a small dense nucleus of protons and neutrons atoms are the smallest particle of chemical element that still exhibit all the chemical properties of that element clear now our next topic is chemical particles in charged particles in matter so i told you that atoms have three types of subatomic particles atoms have three types of subatomic particles what they are number 1 electrons number 2 protons and number 3 neutrons clear atoms have three types of subatomic particles they are electron protons and neutrons clear now if we are talking about electrons so your electrons are negatively charged electrons are negatively charged and it is represented by small e and negative sign clear so this negative shows that it carries negative charge second one is proton second one is proton what do you mean by proton proton are positively charged particles protons are positively charged particles and it is represented as p plus plus indicates that proton carries positive charge clear neutrons have no charge neutrons have no charge it is represented by small n and it is having no plus and minus sign why because it has no charge clear so if we are talking about the mass of an electron if we are talking about the mass of an electron the mass of an electron is 1 upon 2000 the mass of an hydrogen atom clear so the mass of proton is equal to the mass of hydrogen atom and is it is taken as a one unit so the mass of neutron is always equal to the mass of hydrogen atom and it is also taken as a one unit clear so uh, i will uh, read one activity just listen carefully if we rub a comb in a dry hair then this comb attracts small pieces of a paper you have done this uh, very frequently in lot of time uh, if you will take a comb instead of comb you can take a scale and if you rub with this uh, scale or comb with your hair with a dry hair what will happen that comb or scale will charged okay and if they will charge they will attract some small pieces of paper is this clear and if we rub a glass rod with a piece of silk and uh, and bring it near inflated balloon then the glass rod attracts a balloon why because that glass rod will charged clear if you will rub with the silk cloth that glass rod will charged now we know that an electrical charged object can attract an uncharged object with this uh, experiment or with this activity we can conclude that electrically an electrically charged object can attract an uncharged object this means that on rubbing with dry hair a comb or a scale gets an electrical charge okay or on rubbing with a silk cloth a glass rod also get an electric charge so then now the question arises where does this electrical charge come from the obvious answer is from within the atom present in comb and glass rod this simple experiment you can perform at your home okay and with this we can say that some charged particles are present in the atoms of matter so the atom is divisible so the atom is divisible i think with this charged particles in matter is very clear to you now the next topic is structure of an atom atoms are made up of smaller particles called electron protons and neutrons electrons 
and protons have a property called electric charge because electron is carry negative charge and your proton is carry positive charge so with this we can in a simple language we can say that electrons and protons have property called electric charge which affects the way of interact with each other and with other electrical charge particles clear and um, see these are the structure of electrons these are the structure of electron this is structure of atom this is also structure of atom this is also structure of atom different structure of atom are there see electron protons and neutrons electron protons and neutrons electron protons and neutrons and this is atomic structure clear see atom nucleus electron proton and quark so this is the diagram of structure of an atom after that nucleus basically the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons the nucleus contains of all of mass of atom but it occupies only a tiny fraction of the space inside the atom the diameter of typically nucleus is only about 1 into 10 to the power 14 meter or about 1 upon 10 lakh of 1 lakh 1 lakh of the entire atom is this clear with this i have just in this video i have just given the introduction about the chapter what what we are going to cover and what is an atom basically structure of an atom history of an atom clear and uh, the nucleus so in next video we will uh, we will study discover of electrons protons and neutrons different structure of um, different model of structure of an atom clear so i think uh, basic concept is uh, clear to you clear Th uh, thank you and sai ram